You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to another Red Eye Recommends, once again being done in the style of Red Eye Raw, so again, it's going to be in that playlist. But today I'm going to be recommending movie channels, and uh, that's kind of a broad term, so I'm actually going to divide it up into subsections within this video. In addition to that, there's very likely going to be a part two to this at some point, because there's just so many movie channels that I watch that even dividing it up into subsections and featuring only a select few in this, there's just going to be a lot more. Um, there's not enough, like, if I talked about them, I, we'd be here all day. So the sections that I'm going to divide it up into are review channels, collection channels, and fucked up movie channels. There will be overlap between the three, um, but I'm just choosing primarily what I consider each one. As usual, the links will be in the description to the individual channels. And keep in mind, these are in no particular order, and just because something isn't on here doesn't mean it isn't good, because like I said, I, have, I watch a ton of movie channels. So I'm going to start with collection channels. Uh, I'll start with my favorite one, uh, Cinema Sickness. Now, Cinema Sickness goes out and he does shopping videos where he buys his Blu-rays and his DVDs, his VHS, his Laserdisc, whatever. And the man has a hell of a collection. Um, granted, he's cutting down on that collection and getting rid of some duplicates from different formats, which I understand doing. I don't see a problem with that. Um, but he does have a lot of obscure formats. He has a lot of CEDs. He has some uh, HD DVD. Uh, he has... Um, like, other ones that I've never even heard of. He has a CBHD, which is actually how I discovered him. If you don't know, CBHD stands for Chinese High Definition... Or no, S Chinese Blue High Definition Disc. And what a, high, what a CBHD disc is, is it was a Chinese competitor to Blu-ray before Blu-ray went more open source-ish. So back when, you know, they had to license it to Sony a lot more uh, extensively. You know, everyone was making their own thing. You know, he had HD DVD, and then he had CBHD. But when actual Blu-ray went to China, obviously those were obsoleted, and only a few ever got released. But yeah, that's how I discovered his channel, actually. Uh, that, and he has uh, some DivX movies. Obviously, you can't play those on any players. And when I say DivX, I mean DivX in all caps, not DivX with some lowercase letters. They're two completely different formats. That's some confusion that people had on my DivX video. Some people thought I was talking about DivX with a lowercase i. No, I was talking about DivX, all caps. The one that was a rental program, and not the one that's just an enhanced DVD. Um, but yeah, Cinema Sickness is great. I typically mostly just watch his shopping videos. He does do, you know, unboxing videos, which I occasionally watch as well. I don't really watch a lot of his more vlog-style ones, like when he goes to Disney World and, st and stuff like that. Like, I've seen a couple of them, but, like, they don't really draw me in as much as the media stuff does. But yeah, Cinema Sickness is great. Check him out. Uh, other than Cinema Sickness, there's Cool Duder. Um, he actually has a bigger collection than Cinema Sickness, which is insane to think about. Um, and, uh, he has, he's one of the oldest, like, collection channels that I know of. I, I started watching him in, like, 2010 or some shit like that. Like, a long time ago, and he's still going. I don't watch him as much as I used to, partially because I get kind of the same experience out of Cinema Sickness, and I just, for whatever reason, kind of enjoy his more. But they both do very similar things, where they go out and they buy Blu-rays, DVDs, etc., I will say one key difference is Cinema Sickness runs a store where he also sells them, whereas uh, Cool Duder, I think, just has a personal collection. But yeah, there's not much else to say. It's a lot of the same stuff. Uh, if you like Cinema Sickness, you'll probably enjoy the kind of stuff Cool Duder, cool Duder does. All right, other than those two, I'm going to talk now about one that I probably most of you have not heard of, uh, and that's Darth Carnivorous. And Darth Carnivorous does a lot of different things. Uh, he, does, he collects mostly anime and video games. Uh, but the problem is, is, like, he only has, like, three, uh, like 300 subscribers at the time of this recording, like, 350 or something like that. And the guy definitely deserves more. I mean, that's, like, less than mine. You know, he has half as many subscribers as I do. And I'm like, the guy deserves more than that. Like, I would have thought he would have had more than me by now, because he does great content. Uh, but he's a, he's a Scottish guy who collects anime, and he collects video games and things like that. Um, he does kind of a variety of videos, but the ones that I've mostly watched have been his, like, anime collection videos. And when he does collection stuff, he typically does a little mini-review as part of his collection video. But yeah, I definitely recommend checking out Darth Carnivorous if you like uh, collection videos that kind of have, like, a review in on them as well. Okay, now on to the reviewers. This is going to be standard reviewers, and then when I talk about fucked up channels, they're, they're also probably going to be reviewers, but yeah. So, for the first one, I'm going to talk about one that I actually just kind of recently subscribed to within, like, the last couple of months, and that's The Maniac. The Maniac got his channel hacked, and so he had to create a new one. Originally, his channel was called, called Ghostbait1, 
Uh, and I found out about him through Mudahar, you know, some ordinary gamers, because um, he gave him a shout out essentially when he was talking about channels that got hacked. And so I checked him out, and the Maniac does great movie reviews. He reviews a lot of like old school horror movies, exploitation movies, black exploitation movies, um, some really over the top violent stuff to the point where he could probably be classed as a fucked up movie review channel, but he just mainly does horror in general, so I'd say that that's what makes him more of just a standard reviewer. So yeah, check out The Maniac if you like horror movies, because uh, he does a lot of good reviews on those. Other than The Maniac, there's another one that I fairly recently started watching, uh, Cynic Snacks, um, who does a lot of... He's a British guy who reviews movies, just, just kind of does a variety of movie reviews. He primarily reviews bad movies. He has a series called Junk Film Review or something like that that I've been watching a lot of. I think I've watched all the episodes so far. But yeah, he does very comedic uh, reviews of bad movies, and those are really fun for me. So if you like that kind of stuff, I'd highly recommend checking him out as well. And then finally, for the reviewers, I'll talk about Ralph the Movie Maker. Ralph the Movie Maker is probably the most well-known out of the three that I've mentioned in this subsection, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but Ralph the Movie Maker does really good uh, movie reviews that often have skits implemented into them as well. And not like annoying skits that try and reenact the movie like Nostalgia Critic does. No, he actually puts good skits that have his own channel lore. And he also reviews a lot of bad movies in a comedic fashion. So I'd highly recommend Ralph the Movie Maker. He's a, he's a lot more like high effort, high production value type guy. Like he doesn't go crazy. He doesn't do like, you know, AVGN, like high budget episode type stuff. But he does, he has really good... Uh, editing style, I guess, is what it would be. Not really necessarily high production value, but he, he edits his videos really well. Okay, on to the fucked up movie channels, and I've only got two of these ones. There's a third one, but I can't remember what it is, uh, and he doesn't upload anymore. Um, I think the third one was like 000 Sam 000 or something like that. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll, put, I'll include him too. He was the first one I watched, so yeah, 000 Sam 000, something like that. He'll be in the description. And, uh, he just reviews a lot of fucked up movies. A lot of them he, uh, he got, uh, he had, like, a lot of them that I had never heard of. A lot of them are very obscure. Very underground stuff, which, granted, is true for all three of these fucked up movie channels. They, they review a lot of underground movies that are not very well known. In fact, a lot of these channels just review a lot of the same things, to be fair. Or not the same things, but the same kind of things. Uh, but yeah, he's reviewed some a lot of things that I'd never heard of, and, uh, he doesn't upload anymore. He did a few other things here and there, but, uh, yeah... Next up, uh, Bear in Mind's Nasty Finds. Uh, he, by far my favorite of the fucked up movie channels. Because he, he did reviews of, like, really fucked up obscure movies. Um, a lot of his reviews are no longer on YouTube. They had to be taken down. But his channel still has a good chunk of them up, so I'd still, I'm st I'd still recommend checking them out. Uh, both he and then the one who's going to come after him have also reviewed the MyTron's Daily Life movie, which I've also reviewed. Um, but he's reviewed a lot of things that I haven't heard of as well. Um, he's just got a lot of energy. Bear in mind's Nasty Finds is super hyped about everything he talks about and is super happy about it. And uh, as a side note, he used to have an outro where he used that same song that iDubs used for Content Cop. Um, but he's pretty cool. Uh, then after him, there's Fangirl Sarah, who's actually had like three different channel names since I started watching her. Uh, she does a lot of the same things as Bear in Mind, Nasty Finds, and 000 Sam 000 did. Um, but with her, she also reviews a lot of anime and manga, too, which they don't really do as much. Like, granted, she does live action more than she does those other two, but she's done her share of both. But yeah, those are, those are the movie channels I have for you guys today. Um, I'd highly recommend watching them. Again, you know, if you like the collection-type videos, watch those guys. If you like just standard reviews, there's those guys. And then at the end... If you like really, really fucked up movies, there's those three. But anyway, this has been Fugitive Red. I have a good one.